was a race against time. And there was my cousin who made it on the scene, but just not in time. Shattered glass and debris remain in the exact spot where LaDavid DeLorge died. The last thing he told me was he was on his way to me. I was numb because I felt like I, I was supposed to be there. He was on his way to me and I was supposed to be there. The 35 year old was sitting in the passenger seat of his car early Saturday morning, parked in the emergency lane on I-264 near Taylor Boulevard as he called his family to help him get back home. He had his hazard lights on and he wasn't moving because there was no gas left in the car. That's when detectives say Jacob Clayton was taking the same route, driving to New Albany. According to police, he claims another car in front of him braked, causing him to swerve out of the lanes and slam into Delorch's car. And it's just something that is so hard to take in because he didn't deserve that. Described as a loving father, one who supported his 10-year-old son to pursue sports like he did years ago. Give me one more. Oh. Playing football, he's trying to make his father proud. With nine siblings now missing a brother, the family says the road to healing will be difficult. But with Clayton behind bars, they hope it could help them with their pain. The guy that, that took my brother away from us, he, he's going to get what he deserves. Now, according to police, the suspect admitted he had been drinking. He failed a sobriety test on scene. Tonight, he's in jail facing charges of murder, DUI, and having no insurance. I'm Trey Ward, WOKY News.